Hey guys, welcome back to Sky Factory 3 with Haley. And guess what? It's raining again. All right, we are going to solve this problem like now. <laughs> um, I need to make a bed because if I make a bed and actually sleep, when I wake up, the rain will be gone. But unfortunately, we are currently out of string. So I talked about last time how I had sheep, uh, but they disappeared because little wolves ate them. So um, there is something in this mod called baits under the X compression. And I can actually make sheep bait by combining a seed with some wheat, setting it down close to water. And I just put a little water source here, let it flow. And right now it says you're, you're too close, the animals are scared away. So I'm just going to set those there and hopefully some sheep will spawn so I can shear them and make some wool, get some bed and get it to stop raining. Oh gosh, so sad. All right, I also made a little gate here so I don't have to keep breaking the uh, fence and putting it back down so that I can walk straight through. All right, we have a lot to cover in this episode and only a short amount of time to do it. Um, in our last episode, we started talking about the iron seeds and we wanted to get those created and <coughs> I was gonna need a ton of Ethereum essence. As you can see, I've been watering like crazy. I only needed a stack, but I was watching TV and had some time. So I went ahead and made two stacks. And I swear, as soon as I finished it and decided to start recording, it started raining. But again, we're going to fix that. Just a little frustrated. <laughs> All the water is getting to me. All right. So now oh, I just happened to look over here and it looks like our essence is full here on the side so uh, we're gonna need to get a tank in there um like now all right but first let's go ahead and get this iron seed created so if i go ahead and look up the iron seed the iron seed needed the intermedium essences which is made from the prudentium essences which is made from the inferium essences all surrounded by the inferium crystal so let's go ahead and drop our crystal up there Let's make all our essences. Get a couple stacks of those going. And you can see that the progress bar has shown that we have used 16 of the uses within this uh, crystal. So it only allows us to use it a thousand times. But luckily, unlike the original version of Magical Crops, we don't have to keep switching out essences to go up each time. So now we have our intermediate essences. And in order to make the iron seed we just need to make a tier 3 crafting seed which is made from a tier 2 crafting seed uh oh which is made from a tier 1 crafting seed surrounded by some prudentium or whatever it's called um go ahead and get luckily i made some more inferium seeds we grab one of these seeds so we are going to make one more of the inferium seeds and then we need to make four of the next level seeds which one is that those three four three one two three one two three that's the prudentium seeds i'm going to surround the prudentium seeds around the inferium seeds uh oh wait a minute what am I doing wrong? Tier 2 crafting seed. Tier 1 crafting seed. Prudentium makes a tier 2 crafting seed. Am I getting it right? Base crafting seed. It's a base crafting seed. Okay, well, <laughs> alright, we'll get this. So a base crafting seed is a seed. Let me grab a seed from over here real quick. And we're going to surround that. Any sheep over there yet? No, but that wolf is pretty close. Uh-oh, I did see two of those baits that went away. <gasps> the wolf is eating our sheep. Bad wolf. Oh, sorry. Well, it gave me a piece of wool at least this time. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to have to put the wolves away from the sheep in order to make our bed googly out wolf uh, mean little buddy but let's go ahead and continue on i promise next episode it will not be raining all right but let's go ahead and do this so we needed to make a base seed so we take our prosperity shards 
Surround that by around a seed. We get our base crafting seed. Take that base crafting seed and we get a tier one crafting seed. Okay, so the tier one crafting seed is different than, than the Inferium seed. Take that tier one crafting seed, surround it by the Produtium Essence. We get a tier two crafting seed. Take that tier two crafting seed, surround that by the Intermedium Essences. We get a tier three crafting seed. Yay! So now I need more Intermedium Essences Surrounded by this tier 3 crafting seed. Do I have enough essences to make four more? I should just gotta harvest these little guys here. Luckily, had a full stack around here. Alrighty. So, yeah, I got a full stack. So, I need four pieces of iron. Let me grab that while I'm over here as well. One, two, three, four. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and let me set this aside for a second. We're going to make, where's my shards? There we go. Need to make four more. Sorry, got a puppy here. Going to make four. There, I don't know, he's on my feet for a second. Four more of the little orange essences. There we go. Now we can make our iron seed. And bam, done. Mark it off in the quest book. Now, as we're getting further along in the quest book, some of these quests are going to be more difficult to do. So our progression may seem to slow down, but we're actually just getting some, into some more complicated areas. I cannot believe that wolf ate the sheep as soon as he was born. Okay, come up. Um, so things may seem to slow down, but uh, we are actually going to be doing a lot of... Uh, cool stuff coming up here. I'm going to go ahead and make that iron tank, that fluid tank, because what we're going to talk about is storage. So I just need a piece of glass surrounded by a whole bunch of wood. Um, I wanted to get into storage because as you can see, my uh, little sievers, they are full. So they don't have any ways to put these items. <clears throat> so unfortunately, that means they stop sieving, things get backed up. I want things to start moving along very quickly. So what I've done here is I put three transfer nodes underneath each of these guys and grab the transfer pipe. And I've left this end open here because how we're going to actually store these items, I want to get into the storage drawers as well as colossal chest. Um, but we were going to make focus here. <laughs> uh, we wanted to make the fluid tank. In order to make the fluid tank, I needed a bunch of iron. Oh, I made bread earlier. I wanted to need a bunch of iron and some glass. So let me just grab some sand that's kind of backlogged here for a second. Oh, that's dust. Just putting the sand in here and start smelting that because I'm going to start needing glass for some uh, extra cool items here later. Let's just put our glass, our sand up there to get glass. Um, we need to make iron bars. And iron bars will just take your six iron ingots. And it gives you 16 iron bars. And I just need one piece of glass. Let me take a piece of glass. And we have our fluid tank. So hopefully, let's see. The portable fluid tank can be used to empty and fill fluid containers. I don't remember how much this holds, but as we know, everything's kind of changing with this mod. So I'm just going to drop it next to our little outlet here. And you can see it is filling up. So this will also tell us how much was in there. Oh, wow. I think it's full. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess this held, held 16,000 millibuckets, which is just 16 buckets. Because it just about filled this up completely. Now, if you notice, if I start clicking... I think if I right shift right click on it let's see there's gotta be a way I'll figure it out later uh, there's another kind of tank I know where I can just usually right click on it and that's how I get the experience but apparently not with this fluid tank it's probably another tank but the main thing is we won't be losing any essences anymore we'll just um, now all the rest of it will fill into here 
So we can also see that this chest is filling up fairly quickly as well. So we want to start looking into some other options on um, storage. So let's start with the colossal chest. The colossal chest. That's can't spell it. All right, it is a multi-block structure that uh, can either be any odd number, like a three by three, a five by five, seven by seven, nine by nine. Um, the achievement book towards the very end. Let's scroll on through here. It talks about making a 16 by 16 by 16 colossal chest. And I don't know if that's possible. Maybe it's 15 by 15, but we're just going to go ahead and make one. I did a little research and they seem pretty cool. So the colossal chest is made from these uh, colossal chest walls and they're just made by planks are surrounded by a little wood there and it gives you two each. So we're going to make a three by three by three which is basically a cube um, section for one. So, uh, so I'm going to need three, if I'm counting right, three on the bottom, three on the top, that's 18, plus three in the middle is 27. Now the middle is actually hollow, so I actually only need 26 of these. So I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get 26 of these. So that gives me 16. I need to get some more of these wood planks here. I have tons of wood from all the trees earlier so I was just wise to go ahead and use it. So I just need 16 so 4, 6, 8, 10. That gives me 16 but I think I also need one for the colossal chest core. So the colossal chest core is a colossal chest wall so I'll grab another section of that and if I take the colossal chest wall with an iron ingot it gives me the colossal chest core. So let's go ahead and make this fun little box here. I'm just actually going to set it up here for right now and I can I'll just move it where I need to later. So from what I read I just need to make a three by three. Oops. Get my sections here. I'm gonna make a three by three on the bottom. 3 by 3 on the top and a 3 by 3 in the middle but I'm going to leave the center hollow Oops. and then on some part I'm going to just stick it in the front right now I'm going to put the colossal chest core and you can see it makes oh, wow there's <laughs> a large not open it makes the colossal chest which holds a ton more than just a regular double chest so that's where we're actually going to replace this little chest item here. I'm actually probably going to move the vacuum hopper over so um, it'll I'll be able to put the colossal chest somewhere right here in the front and then all my storage items will go into there. So this is a 3 by 3 by 3 Imagine what a 16 by 16 by 16 looks like. That's a full chunk size chest. So we'll probably we'll work towards that towards the end. Again, I got plenty of wood. And sadly, I probably don't have enough wood to make that size chest. So we'll get that set up off camera. Um, what I want to do on this side is I want to get storage drawers. And storage drawers are basically individual chest items. You can make a single drawer, a double drawer, or even a quadruple drawer. Um, but the downfall is that the single drawer should see holds 32 stacks. When you get into like a double drawer area, it holds two different items, but it only holds eight stacks per item. Um, same situation when you have the the four drawers that they ho it holds four different items. I'm sorry, 16 different stacks on the two, and on the four it holds eight different stacks for four different items. So um, it allows you to put more into each one, but it doesn't hold nearly as much. We're gonna go ahead and just make a basic drawer system set up and the way this is done is for each individual ore that comes out of here I want to go into a storage drawer and we do that by making a storage drawer, uh, drawer controller sorry get the right one and the drawer controller requires stone diamonds and then one of these drawers any one of those will do 
Uh, the thing that actually may hold us up on this episode is to make the redstone comparator, which is required for the controller. It requires nether quartz. And nether quartz we can get from seeding soul sand. Soul sand we get from putting soul um, witch water in a barrel and dropping sand into it. Witch water. How do we get witch water? That is the, oh, thank God it stopped raining. Uh, witch water is actually very easy to get. We are going to um, just, we're going to make some mycelium. And so I've got a spot set up over here. I'm grabbing these ancient spores. Mycelium is just a seed that I'm going to put on this dirt. Um, so you can see the ancient spores turns this dirt into mycelium. Now, if I put a barrel, and I think this requires a stone barrel, uh, where did it go? Drawer controller, comparator, nether quartz. Uh, yeah, it shows a stone barrel here, and it's not changing. So I'm going to go ahead and use a stone barrel. We're running close to the end of time. I told you guys we had a lot to do, but I wanted to get it up and going. So we're going to make a stone barrel. So I'm just going to grab, I just make three stone barrels. I got plenty over here and I'm going to need that. So, oops, I want to make three stone barrels. So one, two, three. So I'm going to just drop these stone barrels anywhere around this mycelium that's sitting over here. So if I just drop these off, one, two, three. And if I put in water, into the barrels it should start changing the regular water into witch water so you can see where it says transforming one percent two percent so slow so I'll go ahead and get those three transforming and um, we'll start making the other parts of the drawer system Oh, it also gives us mushrooms on the mycelium. That'll be good when we start cooking some cool little items. Let me get this last one going here. Come on, move faster. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm surprised the wolves aren't eating the chickens, but maybe they just have a taste for, uh, for lamb. All right, so that's gonna take a while to transform for us to be able even to start seeding or trying to sieve to get some uh, nether quartz. So um, I'm going to show you the rest of the drawers. So we're going to make uh, just a basic drawer and the drawers are just your regular oak planks surrounded by a chest. So for each, put these items up, for each uh, type of ore we want to create um, a regular drawer along with, uh, let me go into I guess dust is one that gives us the most items. Uh, each of the secondary components. So we know we'll need one for bone meal, gunpowder, uh, crushed charcoal, redstone, glowstone. So we're going to need a lot of different drawers. So the main uh, ore items are nickel, lead, iron, gold. So that's four, along with silver aluminum copper I think that's it so one two three four five six so I'm gonna need at least six sets here so that's four actually you know what I'm just gonna make a ton right now so that's 16 drawers and then surrounded by each of those drawers yeah, I'm just getting a ton of wood here we're gonna put the um, the planks And that's going to give us our individual basic drawers. So I'm going to go ahead and start stacking these. And we'll probably spend most of the episode next time showing how these work. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight. So the way this is going to be set up is I'm going to have this feed automatically into um, some kind of drawer controller. I think I can feed it directly into the drawer controller. As long as the drawer controller is touching these drawers on some part, I think it goes out maybe 12 blocks. Uh, it'll automatically store whatever um, comes out of here that matches the drawer component. So I'll have to have 
my, what I want in the individual drawer. And it stacks up, I think, also to 12 as well. So I'm just going to stack three for right now. Let's see, one. It is kind of picky on how you do it on the side. Let's see, just put those up there. Oh, let's see, I put that in the drawer. I don't want that in the drawer. I want to put that on top of the drawer. There we go. All right, so we have our beginning parts of our storage drawer. Uh, we have our witch water that's already come out, so awesome. Let's um, let's finish this up in the next episode because we'll have to take our witch water, uh, sieve it down to get some nether quartz, and make that storage drawer controller. So for right now, I'll go ahead and end the episode. I'm gonna fence off a piece over here on the side so I can get my sheep going again. I promise I will have a bed next time. So if it starts to rain, I'm just going to take a little nap and sleep the rain away. So again, I want to thank you for watching this episode. If you like to support me, go ahead and click subscribe to my channel. Uh, go ahead and click the like button as well. Leave a comment. Give me some tips and some tricks and some techniques on how to keep these wolves from eating my sheep. <laughs> each time but they don't eat the chickens so it's just again weird i'm probably just going to fence off a specific area for my sheep to keep them safe as they grow in but again i'll do that during uh, between episodes um, again thank you for watching if you have any questions of course leave a comment but um until next time i'll talk to you later bye